Welcome back guys, Zach from Trios Guitars. Today I am going to talk about how to pack up your guitar when you're going to fly with it or if you're going to ship it. So I have, I have four guitars that are just about to get shipped off right now and I have to get them packed and make sure that they're not going to get damaged during shipping. First things first, you don't want excess tension on the neck when it's shipping because if the case takes a hit or anything like that you don't want this extra tension to be um, adding to the forces that are acting on, on the neck or the rest of the guitar. So you want to loosen your strings. You want to loosen them not so much that they're going to pop out of the nut slots or go next to the fretboard and scratch the guitar. You want, just want the tension off of them. So you can tell that's loose but not too loose. Um, Next thing you want to make sure is that the guitar doesn't move around in the case. So this is pretty good. The lower bout of this guitar fits really nice and snugly into the case, so I don't have to worry about that. The upper side of this guitar is a little bit loose, but that is going to basically solve itself once I pack the head, which is one of the most important parts. And I'm going to spend the most time on this part. I'm sure all of you have heard of guitars being broken at the head uh, during travel. That's super common and one of the main reasons is if the case were to fall, the inertia of the head actually causes that snap. So supporting the back and the top of the head is really important. If you're flying and traveling then obviously this is a great place for like socks and underwear. But uh, if you're shipping this guitar to someone, if you just sold this guitar, or you're shipping it to a dealer, obviously you don't want to pack it full of underwear. So um, bubble wrap works great. Um, I don't like using plastic, but this is all bubble wrap that I've gotten from other shipments. So um, you want to support it basically so it's clamped in there. So that's not enough. I'll keep packing it. Um, so that's a bit too much. See how there's some resistance. I popped some bubbles there. Actually, that might be good. Actually, that's pretty good now. So there's there's support under the whole head, and now I'm gonna finish by supporting the top. So if this case hits anything, or if it if it falls, um, if a flight attendant. <laughs> decides to toss the case, it's not going to snap the head um, from the inertia of the head continuing to move and the neck being held in place. So I'm just going to cut this bubble wrap. Okay. There we go. You can see that's sticking up a little bit. There's a bit of room in the case here. So that should just about support it nicely. So now it's it's sturdy, it's not going to go side to side, it's locked in there, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, I can now close the case. Obviously I don't have anything, um, like when I'm, I'm gigging I'll often have, you know, a strap in here or um, a cable in here. If you don't want anything loose in there obviously, just so it's nothing rattling around. Okay. Yeah, so you see there wasn't any resistance there, so I might add a little bit of bubble wrap there. Another layer. Still. Uh. There we go. See, see, there's a little bit of resistance there. So the bubble wrap is is packed in there. There's no air spaces in there. So now I can do all the latches up. If I was flying, I would say that's pretty good. Um, it's smart to sometimes uh, wrap these 
uh, latches up so that they don't get caught on anything. Um, and that can be done with uh, that plastic wrap stuff. Uh, it works well and it, it helps a little bit with humidity too if you are able to wrap most of it. Um, but for the most part, if I'm traveling on a flight, I'll just leave it like that and that's good to go. Um, make sure you have your name on the case in multiple places. Uh, I like to have something in the case as well as on the case. Um, obviously luggage tags or whatever will be on your handles. With some flight cases, there's the option of having the neck, the head cradle. And I highly recommend that because then you don't have to worry about packing the head. Um, it's just easier traveling. If you're a gigging musician or something like that, and you do a lot of traveling with your guitar, then this makes packing so much easier. It's just uh, less, th less to think about and um, just more peace of mind. And a couple pieces of advice if you're traveling, if you're flying with your guitar, um, don't put it into luggage. If at all possible, don't put it into luggage. Um, if you can bring it onto the airplane, uh, that's best. Most decently sized planes or large planes have room in the overhead compartments for full size guitars. So I will often <laughs> avoid eye contact and try to carry my guitar onto the onto the airplane. And sometimes I can carry it on no problem. Uh, oftentimes the flight attendants say, "Okay, that needs to go into the into the um, sky check or the um, the front under the front of the plane." So that is still not ideal. So at that point, you can actually ask to have it put into the closets in the front of the plane and oftentimes um, the flight attendants will will put the guitar in the in the closet for you and then you just have to ask for it on your way out um, but try to bring the the guitar onto the airplane um, I know where I am my airport Sault Ste. Marie all the, the airplanes that leave are small and there's no room for um, the guitars on board so they always have to go under SkyCheck for the short flight to the bigger, the bigger airport. So, but once you get into a bigger plane, you should be able to get it on board um, if you follow those those directions. If you do end up with your guitar in with the luggage, it's more prone to extremely cold temperatures, and uh, of course the humidity changes because of temperature changes and uh, altitude. So. Avoid that at all costs, if possible. Um, obviously, if you have a really good flight case, you don't have as much to worry about. But airports seem to keep coming up with ways to break the most indestructible cases out there. So uh, it's always a good idea to be cautious and take as many precautions as possible to protect your, your baby. Now if I'm going to ship this guitar, it's a bit of a different story. There's a few different theories. Um, if I wrap this up with bubble wrap, um, but leave the handle sticking out, and then I ship it like that, then um, shipping companies, handlers will recognize it as a guitar and they won't, you know, toss it hopefully. Um, but if it's in a, in a box wrapped up, then they don't know what it is, so they'll just uh, treat it like any other package. So, um, that being said, you can wrap it better when it's in a box. You can wrap it, the case, in um, basically in, a, in another layer of protection. So, um, that is recommended. That's what I'm going to be doing with these. Basically, an oversized box that allows me to put padding on every side of the guitar and then uh, hold it in place in that box so it doesn't rattle around in there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this up in uh, bubble wrap, uh, some leftover bubble wrap that I had from cases I just bought, and then I'm going to ship this off with some fragile labels on it. I hope that helps you on your next trip or when you're shipping your guitars. And if you have any other pointers to add to this, I'd love to hear from you. So um, comment below. If you liked the video, like and subscribe and hope to see you next time.